Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Today's going to be something a little bit different. I will not be shaving, but I will be creating a ladder. So this is going to be basically my way of creating a ladder in a shortish video that will give you guys an opportunity to create something from pretty much any soap. Now, I'm going to start off by showing you the brush. Now this brush is a handmade artisan brush over in the States made by a company called Turn and Shave. It's a 26 millimeter synthetic knot. Now this is called a boss knot. It's very soft, but it's got a lot of scrub and it's it's just a really nice knot. Creates amazing lathers as most synthetics do. It doesn't scritch or scratch your face. It's very, very comfortable to use. The main reason I go for synthetic brushes is mainly just because they create a better lather. It's as simple as that. I've tried creating this, this similar sort of lathers with natural hair brushes, but I just can't do it really, if I'm honest. I don't seem to have the ability to create such a good lather from a natural hair brush as I do from a synthetic. The soap for today is Face Fat Shaving Soap. This one is Green Fougere. Australian artisan based out of Western Australia and makes beautiful soaps. This one is no exception. <coughs> so what I've done, I've just dipped the, the brush in my sink of water. So, oh, it looks a bit weird, but yeah. What I've done then is I've flipped it, gets most of the water out, so it's still damp, and then straight into the dry soap. Now this technique of lathering works for pretty much any and every soap on the market, creams, anything. I may do a tutorial on how to, or how to lather a cream, but to be brutally honest with you, they've all got the same principle for me, the way I lather. So I'm just loading the brush up. Now, at the moment, I don't have enough on the brush. So what I do now, it's, it's a bit dry, so it's not picking much more soap up. All I do is just dip the tips in the water and then straight back in again. And you'll see straight away that it starts building again. You can see there's a little bit more on the brush now. Now I am going to do this on my face so that you can actually see how I lather from start to finish. Right, that's it. Now, I load my brushes very, very heavy. What that means is I load a lot of soap into them. I don't hold back. I don't sort of think, ooh, I need to save on this here. The soap and the brush and the lather is the biggest part of the enjoyment of white shaving for me. So make sure you load your brush up with loads of soap and you're generally always get a good lather anyway. So what I do next, just wet my face. And all this stuff that's round the excess bottom of the brush, actually on the handle, what I do with that is I actually scoop it on my chin. Now this isn't the best technique, this part here anyway, if you have a go to, just doesn't work very well. Now what I'm also going to do is just scoop out all the excess from inside the tub, which isn't much, that brush is excellent for getting into the tub and actually getting every last bit of soap out. And then what I do is I just wet my hands again and rub all that in. Right, and onto the ladder. So the brush is loaded, and all I do now is I paint the soap which has been loaded into the brush all over. Now I've watched several videos, loads and loads of videos, on how to get the best ladder and how to do the things the best. You know, there's no right and wrong way for this. Basically, how I've come across this, this trial and error doing things, changing things up, and then realizing when something works. So what it's done now is I've painted it on here, it's very pasty and dry. And if I were to splay the brush in this position now and start splaying to create a ladder and actually make it grow, it wouldn't really do anything because there's no water in here. The water is what adds volume and slickness to your soap. So as you can see, it doesn't matter what I do here, It doesn't grow tiny little bit on my neck there. So what we need to do is add water. Now what I do first off is I'll dip the tips in the water and then paint it in. Now what I'm looking for with this technique or this way of lathering that I use 
just keep painting. Now you can see on my cheeks, on my neck and everything, the paste or the soap that's on there just now, the, the load, it's very thick and you can barely see through it to my skin. What I'm looking for is to keep painting water in until you can pretty much see through the soap and make it translucent so that you can see your skin very, very easily through the soap, what's on your face. So just keep dipping, painting. And again, just keep going. Now you can see already it's starting to get there. So it gets some excess there, just keep painting. Dip again. I think we're pretty much there. So now if you look now, you can see right through to my skin pretty much everywhere. On my neck, on my face. Now what that tells me is, other than the fact that I'm making a mess today, is that the brush is ready to splay and it's ready to create a lather. So I can splay this brush now. Without adding any more water, you'll get pretty much a working lather that you'll be able to shave with very easily. It's just a case of swirling backwards and forwards motions all over. It really is this simple. Now obviously you have to take into account your water type. The soap plays a part. This is a very thirsty soap, so I do find that by the end of the lathering process, I still have to add a little touch more water. But I'm not gonna do it with this one. I wanna show you what you can build just by using that very simple, easy sort of technique to building a lather. And you'll see what I come out with at the end. There we have it. Now this. So you can see just how lovely that lather is. absolutely beautiful. Like I say, you could easily add a shit ton more water to that, easily. But that is literally how simple it is to create the ladder, which in my opinion is pretty shit hot. Anyone can do it, you just need water. So you can see how much ladder is on my face there. really is as simple as that. So if you're struggling with your ladders, give that a go. Honestly, what have you got to lose? I'm not saying it's rocket science making a ladder, because it's not. But it took me a long time to get to a position where I got consistently good ladders with very minimal fuss, very minimal effort. And I find this technique or this way of doing it for me works pretty much spot on every time. I couldn't honestly tell you the last time I had a poor ladder using that technique. It would be probably over a year ago now. And it doesn't matter what cream, what silk that I use. I'm not saying you're going to have a great shave. Not saying that at all. But pretty much the start to a great shave is a great lather in my opinion. I don't use pre-shaves generally, so my lather is my pre-shave. It's what creates that fantastic experience from the shave itself. So if you want to give it a go, brilliant. Pop any comments down below. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. 
I actually went back through, I don't think I've had one single video without a thumbs down. But hey ho, what more can you ask for? At least people watching it, thumbs down or thumbs up, it doesn't matter. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.